looking face to face with that circumstance, so that circumstance with the enemy, and say, You are not crossing this line, you're not bringing this sickness in, and therefore, this you are taking your stand. You. I speak what the word of God says. Now, there's a scripture that came to my heart while I was uh, while we're looking at Mark 11. Let me quickly look for it. it is in Romans, I think it's Romans 4. 17 talking about the fate of God yes Romans 4 17 let me, let me read from verse 16 therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed not to that only which is of the law but to that also which is of the faith of of Abraham, who is the father of us all, as it is written, I have made thee the father of many nations before him whom he believed, even God who quickened the dead and collect those things which be not as though they were. God speaks faith, faith speaks. God collect number one, he gives life to the dead. And number two, he calls forth those things which be not as though they were. Hallelujah. And I understand that English. He calls forth those things which be not. Those things that are not in physical manifestation already as though they were already in physical manifestation. We'll come to that, the tense of faith. Faith only has one tense. And so that is why God calls those things which be not as though they were already in existence. So God does not say I will have light. Even though it is in the midst of darkness, he doesn't say I will have light. Neither does he say I had light which is past tense. What he says, even is in the midst of darkness, God says, I have light. He collect those things that be not as though they were. And so as a believer, I may look as though the business you start is not blessed, things are not working the way they should work, and so uh, it looks like there are limitations. You don't speak the limitations. Rather, you speak the truth of God's word that you are blessed in that business or that that business is blessed. Is blessed even when there is no evidence in the natural of the blessing. Glory to God. He collect those things that be not as though they were. So you see, God is always speaking. When Adam fell in the garden, Immediately, God began to speak of his plan. Listen, the Messiah, the Lord Jesus, would not have come if God never spoke words. So, beginning from Genesis 3.15, God began to speak. The seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. Faith speaks. Eve believed God. And so when she had Cain and Abel, Cain was born first. When she had Cain, she exclamated and said, with the help of the Lord, I've obtained a man. Apparently, she thought that Cain was the Messiah. But God was looking at about 4,000 years ahead of her. 4,000 years of biblical history ahead of her. But she believed. And the reason why God spoke on the earth was for man to believe. Because if man believes, then he can bring it to pass on the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. When man believes, God brings it to pass on the earth. Glory to Jesus. And so God began to speak words. Began to speak words. Began to speak words. Began to speak words. 
through the prophets, God began to speak words. All through the history of Israel, God was speaking words until the Messiah came. Listen, you must understand that faith speaks. You must understand the need to keep speaking words. Keep speaking. Now that's what Pastor Chris said, is a don't stop talking it. Keep talking it. Why? Because as you speak those words, you are attracting the manifestation of those words that you are speaking. Amen. Hallelujah.